The murder of a family led to a bizarre twist, a husband and a father on the run. Then he started posing as a reporter. Now, Hollywood is turning this real-life drama into a movie. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher started covering this case a decade ago. And here's a preview of tomorrow night's report. It started on December 19th, 2001. Um, we got a report of a child in the bay. My name is Trish Miller, and I'm the lead investigator. And they discovered a second child, and she was weighted down with the rock. The children were identified as Zachary Longo and Sadie Ann Longo. This wasn't an accident. This was murder. The investigators in Oregon soon found their mother, Mary Jane Longo, and baby Madison at the bottom of the bay. Once we found Mary Jane and Madison, we knew that our focal suspect was going to be Chris Longo. The whole family's dead. And he's nowhere to be found. It was discovered that Christian Longo had caught a plane to Cancun, Mexico. He was spotted and arrested and charged with the murder of his wife and three children. But when he was caught, he had taken on another identity. My name is Michael Finkel. I was a writer for the New York Times Magazine. I learned that while Christian Longo was in Mexico, he was pretending to be a writer for the New York Times. In fact, he was pretending to be me. What was the first thought that went through your mind when you hear there's a man who's about to stand trial for murder who was impersonating you? I was like, I'm going to write him a brief letter. I'm really curious about why you chose to become me. It would be the first of many letters, phone calls, and eventually face-to-face -face meetings, a journey into the mind of an accused murderer. It became a book and now a Hollywood movie. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Long. Call me Chris. So why me? I followed your whole career. I guess I felt like I knew you. I want to tell you my side of this. Only you. The psychological thriller focuses on the reporter and the killer's game of cat and mouse. You had a choice of so many stories to tell, and you chose his. Actually, he picked me. He didn't pick you. He used you. A gripping Hollywood movie. A chilling true story. I just looked him straight in the eye and I said, you know, Chris, did, did you do what you're accused of doing? And he was, as always, completely unruffled, never betrayed a moment of micro panic, nothing, and looked at me and said, uh, I think you know, and just like gave me a little wink. Maureen Mara is with us now, and she joins us at the table. I just recently saw the movie, and mm -hmm. I'd never even heard of this story until a, a week ago. And you've seen the real-life people. Yes. Yeah, so what are they the, like? The story is despicable enough. Yes. You're talking about someone who kills his three children and his wife. His and little children. Right, little children and yeah. tells despicable versions, various versions of how he did or didn't do it. But what made it interesting is that you have Christian Longo and Mike Finkel strike up this bizarre relationship that you would think, as a reporter, after a couple of questions or interviews, it would be over, especially once there's a verdict. Mm -hmm. But that was really only the beginning. And it's not that Christian Longo was befriending Finkel, it's that Finkel, the quote-unquote disgraced uh, reporter, is befriending Longo because he says at one point in the interview with us, he's the only person I felt at the time morally superior to. Mm -hmm. So my guard wow. was down because I thought I could get him. Yep. And in fact, it was the other way around because Longo completely uses him as a tr uh, test run for his testimony during the trial. And what they are story. still in contact. Once still again, today. you've set up my yeah. Saturday night. Thank right. you, Maureen. <laughs> you can watch Maureen's full report, The Pretender, that's tomorrow night on 48 Hours. That's at 10 o'clock, 9 central right here on CBS.